For taking an Instagram picture that's going to fit perfectly into my theme, the first thing that I did was actually go and look at my current Instagram feed, just to kind of look at what the colors were and what kind of themes I had going. When it came to picking the outfit I was going to wear for the photo, I referred back to what my current theme colors were, which included black, white, and blue. Picking a location for Instagram photos can seem challenging sometimes because, you know, on Instagram all the time you see all these influencers in these wonderful, beautiful locations and, you know, honestly, daily we're not in those kinds of places, so you have to make do. Well, what I did was I found a white background which happened to just be the backside of a store that's in my town and my sister and I just one afternoon went there and took some pictures and they turned out actually pretty good. If you're wondering why I look like such a weirdo, it's because if you move around a lot, you're more likely to get better pictures and to laugh a lot and smile as much as possible, which can be awkward sometimes. But something that I learned is if you fake laugh, you'll just keep fake laughing until it turns into a real laugh and then you'll hopefully get some really good pictures. Well, this was terrifying. So many people drove past. I was very scared, very worried. My makeup looks so good in the lighting in the camera right now because I put a lot on for this. But this is where we were. The sketchiest Big Lots. Well, Big Lots is already sketchy. But the sketchiest place in my hometown. We went to the back of it because YouTube is life, you know? Not really, but that was fun. For editing, I first like to go through all of the photos and heart the ones that I do like, and then go back through and delete all the ones that don't have a heart on it. Then I go back through and I unheart all of them and kind of go through the same process to figure out which ones I really like and are going to be worth putting in all the effort for editing. I generally use three different editing softwares when editing Instagram photos. I use Bisco, a program called Unum, I think it's how it's pronounced, it's U-N-U-M and I use the Apple editing software that comes with every iPhone. The only routines I really have for editing are using the preset of F2 on Visco, and I turn my black point down and my contrast up. And finally, I use the program called Unum to move around the different photos before I actually upload them to see which photos would fit best in what order. 